Bali. Hi, a warm welcome to Eden to Fisher. I know everything is very shiny shiny. The temperature has dropped down, winter is coming and it's a beautiful time of the year when Diwali is coming. For those of you who don't know what Diwali is, Diwali is an Indian festival. It is called the festival of lights where everyone celebrates it with lots of lights, lots of sweets and lots of love. For me, all the festivals have always been special because I'm someone who loves meeting people, who loves having good time. And Diwali has always been a beautiful memory of my childhood where we all used to go to our daddy's house. Daddy as, as in my grandmother's house and all my uncles, aunts and all the children, all our cousins, we used to sit together, we used to eat together, play together, fight together and it was a very good time of the year. Celebrations everywhere mean sitting together, having good time, having good food and making good memories. So with good food comes some oral health which can be jeopardized. And especially in this time of the year when COVID has still not gone, it's our moral responsibility as citizens to also avoid spreading it. So let's see what are the few do's and don'ts which we can do this year to keep our oral health very good and to stop the spread of COVID. I'm going to tell you five simple hacks which you can use and which will assure that your oral health is at place even after Diwali and you can have anything and everything which you wish to. Yes, as a dentist, I'm telling you, eat as many sweets as you want, eat whatever you want to want, only if your health allows. I am not your physician, I can't tell you what you should eat or what, should you, what you should not, but as a dentist, I'm giving a green flag, you can eat anything you want. Follow these five tips. The first thing which I'm going to tell you is, brush three times a day. Yes, I want you to brush one more time, that is, more than two times. It is because, in the festival times, there is a lot of things which are prepared at home, lots of sweets, lot of savory stuff which, is, which has a lot of refined carbohydrates, sugars, oils and everything which is a little sticky in nature and very crispy in nature. So these are the things which go and settle in the teeth crevices or in between the teeth. So I want you to brush three times a day. Another thing about brushing is, it is very important especially in these times to clean your teeth at night as in brush your teeth at night. Do not sleep without brushing your teeth any day. Our mouth will be working all day long, eating different kinds of food. It will be working for us to make us happy 24-7. So it's our duty to keep it clean. So while you sleep and you have had all the things since the day, whole day, a good hearty meal, all the delicacies, please also clean your mouth at night. So brushing at night is mandatory. Do not forget one single day also. Second thing which I want to tell you is floss your teeth. Yes. So there is something called floss picks. I will put your, the picture somewhere around and I'll also put it in the description box so that you know what it is. Floss picks are simple, very handy things which have a pick around it. And what you could do is you could quickly use it to clean in between your teeth while you're visiting your friends or while you're visiting your family and you're having some good time and you're having some good food. So what you could do is you can't brush your teeth very quickly around there. You can't or scrape your tongue. So floss picks come very handy. Take a floss pick and quickly floss in between the teeth so that you know that there is no food lying in between the teeth which can irritate the gums and cause gum disease or which can invite the bacteria and have them, let them also have a very happy Diwali. The third thing which I'm going to tell you is do not forget to scrape your tongue. You should scrape your tongue all the three times you brush your teeth. Even if you clean your teeth very well, floss very well, but there is food particle lying in the uh, tongue of your mouth then we are back to square one because bacteria will use that to produce acid and the whole pH of the mouth will become acidic in nature and what it will cause is it will make it all the more favorable to for the cavities to proceed. The fourth and most important thing which I want to tell you is use an antimicrobial oral rinse for all the days when you're out and about and eating all the junk food and we know that our routine changes there are a lot of delicacies the meals are different and there are a lot of snacks, there's a lot of meeting people and everything. So what happens is during this time, usually the bacterial load in the mouth increases because, because there's a lot of food and you never know that, have you shared your food? Have you shared your cutlery? So there can be increased bacterial load in your mouth. So what this rinse is going to do is, it will reduce the bacterial load from your mouth and it will keep your mouth healthy. What happens when the bacteria is less? Your teeth and your gums, they are healthy. and you don't have to work so much because oral rinse is also working along on tandem with your brushing, flossing and tongue scraping. 
The fifth thing is going to be very handy and it's going to be a very beautiful tip when it comes to children is always carry a bottle of water along with you. So whenever you have something at your family's play at your family uh, so whenever you have something at your friend's place or relative's place and you don't want to go and quickly brush your teeth is just take a sip of drinking water do a vigorous oral rinse and take it inside. I know you do not want to go and throw it off but you could quickly take a sip of water do oral rinse and drink it in. What it does is it does immediate clearance. Immediate clearance is whenever you're having your food Saliva is something which also does the same thing but because we are having extra food which is rich in sugars and carbohydrates and refined carbohydrates it becomes they are a little sticky in nature because they are very fine in texture. So what water will do is whenever you rinse nicely it will go to all the crevices of the mouth and it will loosen it up and with when you gulp it inside it will go inside and the mouth will be clean. So use all these things in 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 unit in unison so brush thrice floss in between scrape your tongue use a antimicrobial oral rinse and carry a water bottle and whenever you have something which is it can be anything when we go and sit at our friend's place sometimes it's just a cup of tea which we have but you should use some water and you know rinse your mouth with water because tea also has a lot of sugars into it other than that i would say that covid has not ended and let's not forget that and it is our moral responsibility as citizens to celebrate Diwali but not to celebrate it in a way in which we spread it. Whenever you go and meet someone remember that you could be a carrier of COVID. Whenever you meet someone do not forget that they can be a carrier of COVID. So we do not want to regret it later on that we met someone or we transferred the back, uh, virus or we took the virus ourselves. We have our children, we have our parents, we have our neighbors, we have our society to take care of. It is something when we all need to work in unison, we should celebrate, but we should celebrate with responsibility so that we are not spreading it. Also remember, do not share any sweet, usually of giving a bite of sweet and then also taking it or passing on that bite. I have done when I was a child and... Uh, that's 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 a gesture of love i know it's there's a lot of love when it comes to festivities and meeting our people but this is the time when we also need to keep everyone safe oral health is also important but this is also a lot about covid do not share food do not share bites do not share cutlery keep be at a safe distance when it comes to family i know it's okay but if you are at a little bit 0.1% of doubt also keep a distance and uh, there's a very good idea that you could just go and meet people from a distance. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to my family friend's place from outside. I'll be inside my car or probably come outside and we'll be at a distance and we'll have to, we will share a good laugh. We will share something good. This is a special kind of ear we, because I feel along with me, I need to keep my people safe also who are with me at home and who are not at my home, but I love them equally. So let's celebrate this whole year, this beautiful Diwali. And let's not lose the essence, but at the same time, be very moral and responsible and aware about it. I want you all to become so health aware, so conscious about your oral health and your dental health that we would not need to come to us at the end of the day. So have a beautiful Diwali, a prosperous new year. Wish this year be filled with love. And I'll request you all, if you like the video and the content, Please share it with your friends and family so that they also have a very responsible, healthy, yet beautiful Diwali. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it and uh, share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to our channel and also please hit the bell icon so that it notifies whenever I upload a video. I upload a video every Wednesday and I'll be very glad to have you in my Edentofacia family. And uh, please follow us in our social media handles. I'll link everything below. And there are some beautiful videos which I had made before also and I'll link them in the uh, information box and in the description box everywhere. And uh, lots of love. Take care. Have a very, very, very good time.